Hi there, in this video, I want to talk to you about Wagile within Microsoft Project. So you can see here we have the Tokyo Olympics for 2020, which is what's in 2021. <laughs> and what I'm going to do is talk you through a scenario whereby most of your project is going to be fairly waterfall, but for certain aspects of the project, let's say software development, anything that you want to run in an agile way, I'm going to show you how to do that. So you can have side-by-side -side, Agile as well as Waterfall in the same project schedule because that is 95% of how everybody works. So here's the scenario. I'm going to come down to building construction. Uh, this is generally for software development, but this is a nice schedule that you can see that's very Waterfall. And I want to make this the only section in Microsoft Project that it's going to be managed in sprints or I want to manage it on a Kanban board, whatever the case may be. I want to use some kind of board and simple status updates. I don't care the percentage. I don't care much about it. Just is it done? Is it ready to be done? Is it complete? Is it almost ready? Is it in the backlog? Whatever the status are that you have in your business. So the first thing I need to do is insert a new column here called show on board. Okay, so what you'll see here is in Microsoft Project now, this is the latest version for 2022, we have the task boards. And here you can see all of the tasks and you can move them across the different statuses. And I've shown some of this in my previous videos about uh, Kanban, etc. But this is more of your, you know, what you're probably used to seeing today in something like Jira or Azure DevOps. We can track that in Microsoft Project. So what I'm going to do is come up into the show on board, which is, do I want to manage this in an agile way? So I'm going to say no to pretty much everything. So I'm going to click no at the top, shift, control, down, control, D, which fills down, right? So everything's now no. So if I go to the view task board, nothing's there. This is if my project has no tasks. I'm going to come back and come down to building construction and mark these as yes. You can accidentally make the um, summary tasks included in this, but they don't show up. It's part of the filter. So I'm going to come into task board here, and now I see all of my task board tasks. Great. So now, you know, you can come in and manage these. It's next up, in, in progress, done. Maybe it will set this percent complete to be 50% when it's in progress. If it's next up, 25%. You can add new columns in here, um, you know, blocked. And we'll set that to 5% complete. So we got some work done, but it's stuck. Whatever else you want, you can move these tasks around. When they get to done, dig foundation, you see the chat mark here. In fact, if I click on that and then go back to Gantt chart, it takes me down. To dig foundation, vice versa, go straight back to it. Erect walls, where's that in the Gantt chart? Erect walls, task 48, back to the task board. Next up, so you see how Microsoft Project makes this interaction seamless because we've got Agile and Waterfall going on together. Go back to my Gantt chart. I think if this is more as Waterfall, maybe I want to say it's 10 weeks, I can increase durations, assign resources. But you can see this will actually be updated based on the information that's being shared in the task board. 50% complete for rebar. Let's go back to the end chart. Boom, 50% complete on the rebar. So we're seeing the progress. We're getting the best of both worlds right within one interface. So that's a little bit about how I manage Wagile in Microsoft Project. Once you're in there, you've got these things set up, you can actually come into the task board reports take a look at some of the really nice reports that are there out of the box and you can modify those for your needs based on the information in the task boards. Thanks for watching and have a good day.